Welcome to Smart Conserva. I saw it, I liked it, and I decided to make it a do-it-yourself project. What did I like? And what did I decide to make? Let me show you. That's it. You know, it's actually a planter and a very unique one. Can I tell you though, that I didn't even know the name of what I used. I only knew that it came from a coconut tree. In fact, my coconut tree. From time to time, that part of the coconut tree would fall off the tree itself and end up on the ground. In fact, you see for, for that planter that I make, everything from it came from the coconut tree. Tell me in the comment box if you know what it's actually called. What I do know is the section that I used is where coconut would flower and it would develop into fruits that you and I can enjoy. Anyway, it's called a frond. You remember once I told you that in actually it's in a vlog I told you that you can see you can use anything to make a plant about yeah man I did that vlog you know what it really takes at times to do these things will be your imagination and don't forget that creativity let me tell you what happened I went around the side of the yard and I saw the coconut frond on the ground. Normally I would just pick it up and place it in the garbage for it to be discarded. But then my imagination and creativity kicked in. So when I took it up, I just placed it in a secure spot for safekeeping. Strangely, after finding that first one, another one fell to the ground. And I found another one probably about a couple days after. However, the second one that I found, it was more closed up than spread it out. You know, ever since I found the two fronts in my yard, I have been looking into palm trees or other coconut trees. And the ones that I see, them even bigger and wider than the ones that I have. I wanted to see if what I imagined in my head at the time with these fronts, what I really imagined for them to be, I wanted to see if it was really even possible. Well, knowing that the internet was filled with ideas, I searched for coconut tree planter ideas. You know the internet didn't show me anything but the actual coconut being used to make planters. That's when I decided to search instead for the labeled parts of a coconut tree. What I found when I found the label diagram was that when I changed the search to coconut front planters, that was when the search really showed only one. The, the label diagram gave me an idea as to what the name was and as to where it was located and knew where it was located when it was on the tree. I saw other suggestions that had the names palm frond planters so I decided that I wanted to use that as a search. The reason why I think they use palm frond planters though was I guess that in most areas Persons would have palm trees to their disposal, hence that's why the name was so prevalent on the internet. I don't think they would have much coconut trees. I don't know why I say coconut trees as a tropical plant, but anyway, I found palm frond planters on the internet. You know what? Enough talking. Let me show you and tell you how I made it. So. With that idea that I had in mind, I now set out to make my own. And of course, you know I had to add my personal touch. 
what I did was I first removed the old dead flower or the dried part inside what how I did that was by cutting the base with a hacksaw blade you see at this point you really had to be careful when you're doing this part because if you're not careful you can split that that part of it and when it's split it's going to go straight down and whatever front they have it would be unusable so after carefully removing the inside yeah man yeah man after carefully removing the inside i really had to give it a thorough wash using even soap i had to use a soap as the inside had some black things inside so i wanted to to really wash that out to look like the outside of it now when i started washing it I, it started to feel a bit softer as if i was scrubbing it too hard and scrubbing it too hard it feel like it would damage it that thing was a bit difficult to clean as the front itself had deep cut like marks running from the top to the bottom that's the one that I had I'm not too sure about the, the, the palm one but the one I had had the cuts so after cleaning it you now with the water I took out whatever else I could take out with it I just put it down and allow it to dry when it when it was dry it came back just the same thickness and hardness that it had before so I decided to use a fine water sandpaper to see if I could remove some of the discoloring as much as I possibly can after doing all of that I just rinse it off again and allow it to dry once more then I got the idea that I wanted to paint it in the rich gold color. I really liked the look when I painted it. However, what I noticed is that the gold doesn't show as much on the front. And when I use that same gold color and metal, the gold really stand out. After the painting, I left it to dry. It was now at that stage that it was done but there was a problem and it was to find the right plant for it I thought of planting a succulent in that one but in the one that was more closed and an orchid in the other which was more broadened and opened out you see the the issue that I was having, it was really finding those plants. Anyway, after weeks, I was able to find an orchid, only an orchid. But the other planter, I was not able to find the exact succulent I wanted. I did visit some, some succulent stores, but I didn't find any that I wanted. I think I, I want something that would probably hang. I don't want any fillers to go in there. I want something that would eventually hang. But let's wait and see. I might find something eventually. Now, planting the orchid, it was another task. I used the waste which came from the end of the coconut leaf. And I wrapped it around the orchid in a cone-like shape. Then I stuck it in carefully in the bottom point of the front. And that was when I, I applied hot glue just to secure it. Then using that same glue gun, I paste that glue along the side and try, try to affix the sides to the front. It was a bit difficult because sometimes by the time i would put the the front the that material that came from the coconut plant the end of the, the coconut tree leaf at from the end of it by the time i was to stick it on 
at a, at a point sometimes it will just come off the glue would be too hard so I had to do it over and over again so that it would stick well it eventually worked and now that it is planted all I had to do was to apply the stones and whatever charcoals and I had some mini pine cones so I placed it in there and there you have it it was done overall I liked working on this project it was easy it didn't take a lot of time if I get the perfect front I think I can turn it into like a boat like shape and I can plant succulents in it having it shaped like a boat the, the more slender frond that I have is still waiting the perfect succulent but I believe it will be found one day at the right time in fact I'm going to show you it the, the finished product that is awaiting that succulent and you tell me the perfect succulents that I could use or succulent that I could use I'm waiting and I'll wait patiently overall I would give this task a 10 out of 10 with ease this task was executed once again I'm letting you know anything just about anything can be used as a planter try it you have come to the end of another series join us next time for more ways to conserve